Hello and welcome to the Prosperous Musician, where we talk about the music business and the business of music. And today I'll be looking at how you can use the past to uh, influence the present. What do I mean by that? Well, there's a lot of uh, songs uh, that are in the public domain nowadays and songs that are um, free from copyright, which means basically you can cover them, you can re-record them, you can release them and you can charge for them. You can do all of that for free because the copyright has now um, ran out and so anyone can do that. And the rules are slightly different, I believe, uh, in Europe as they are in America. But, um, you know, so best to do your research. But I thought this is a great idea if you're a musician and you wanted to uh, get some inspiration, you wanted to record um, some old songs. Maybe you're in that genre of sort of old songs or you want to reimagine old songs into new songs. That could be uh, something that you could do a whole album around. So, for example, Christmas songs are always... Um, popular around Christmas time obviously and um, what you could do is if you go into um, the public domain and you'll see here pdinfo.com so basically you go into there and you search for songs that you want to find now um, let me just type in here uh, for example Christmas here we go so Christmas, Christmas Pastoral, Christmas Day, popular song from Gustav Holst. Uh, there is actually lots and lots and lots of uh, Christmas songs, but you actually have to type in the, um, let me just do it here, patriotic songs, popular songs, let me have a look on here. It usually gives you a little, uh, uh, another little link to click, click on for the uh, Christmas songs. Ah, here we go. Christmas songs. So they've kind of bunched them together for you. So, uh, Old Lang Syne, Away in a Manger, um, and Deck the Halls, the first Noel. As you can see, pretty much most of the old school Christmas songs are in the public domain, which means that you can record them. You can do a whole album of Christmas covers. Now, I did this uh, a couple of years ago. I recorded um, I Saw Three Ships, which is uh, in the public domain and um, kind of did my own version of it and released it as a Christmas single. Now, I could have gone further than that and done an out whole album of it, which maybe I will this year. Uh, and so that's something you can do if you're, um, uh, like me, if you're a busker, um, you can uh, record the album and sell it on the, on the street when you're playing or sell it at gigs or you can make videos, put it online. You know, the list is endless how you can repackage these songs. You can also, obviously, um, keep the melody, change the words around, you can do what you like with it. And also, um, films are also a good way of um, getting ideas as well. So you could, any of these films that are now in the public domain, so for example, The, the Kid, which is a classic sort of Charlie Chaplin film, in fact, in fact, it was one of his first feature films, and in fact, um, just doing a bit of research on that, he's actually, look at, the, check this out, this is like, this is the olden days. This is how it was, old school. So not only did he write the screenplay, he produced it, he directed it, and he wrote the music, and he starred in it. <laughs> wow. I mean, that, that such a, so ahead of his time. I mean, people do that now, right? Because through the internet, you can write, record and produce and fund your own films. But back in the day, you know, 1921, wow. Uh, the 21st of January as well. Um, so you could use this stuff for um, images for your films, for your videos. Um, if you're doing a live show, you could have projections going on uh, of these kind of classic films. Um, also, I believe 
uh, Safety Last, which is one of the classic black and white films with Harold Lloyd in it, you know, when he's hanging off the clock, that kind of iconic image. Now that's in the public domain as well, so you could use that video, you could watch it for free for a start, but you could use some of that Im those images from that in your own um, music videos, or you could have it playing on in the background when you're playing live. So all these things, you can use them to your advantage. Uh, a film called Reefer Madness, which again would be a would be a great kind of film to have playing in the background if you're doing a, a live music night or something like that dementia 13 i'm not sure what that's about but um i think the clue might be in the title uh 1963 now i don't think that's actually in the public domain but um who knows maybe it is uh from francis Ford Coppola. i didn't know he did that anyway so have a look uh, again do your uh, research um well, it's all very well taking my word for it. Um, so here's the, the Gutenberg uh, press, the Gutenberg projects, rather. Um, so this is another way you could use uh, the past um, past works to influence your own, or even literally just kind of repackage and sell these things. So there's so many ebooks are available now. Um, and um, yeah, let's just have a look on here. So Project Gutenberg is basically people have taken the most popular books out of copy, they're out of copyright, uh, scanned them in, and then you can download them in different ways. You can download them in a Word document or, or anything. So, I mean, they've got some absolute classics here. So like Tale of Two Cities, Pride and Prejudice, Alice in Wonderland, uh, The Importance of Being Earnest, um, War and Peace, Jacqueline Hyde, Dorian Gray, Beowulf, Ulysses, you know, you name it, all the classics are here. And of course, there's there's many thousands more obscure books as well. So if you're interested in business or in music or your children's books, then it's all here. And again, you could just use these for your own um, pleasure, read them, or you can use them to um, influence your own work, your own music, or you can actually repackage them and sell them. You could update the language. Um, you know, rewrite it in a in a modern way. Um, you could repackage it with with images, you know, and and resell them. You know, again, the list is endless. So, I hope this has given you some um, ideas of how you can get into um, how you can inspire yourself, uh, or even how you can literally just kind of white label things, just take an existing product, put a new package on it, put a new spin on it, and then resell it whether that's songs, whether that's books, or whether it's films, or whether it's all three of them, you could do that. So I hope that's got your creative juices flowing, and uh, please let me know if you've done anything like this in the comments down below, and what you did and how you did it, uh, and I'll send you a link to my video that I did, uh, Saw Three Ships, and um, I shall look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Until then, keep being prosperous. Mm -hmm.